On today's Try to Finish Something, first, I have to apologize that I didn't have a video out last week. The reason I didn't have a video out is because, as some of you know, I was hired to do some props for a movie. An actual movie with a worldwide release. I was asked to do two different props for the movie, which I did, and both came out great. And as the movie gets closer to its release date, I'll have full videos on what it was all about and what I built and how it was assembled. At the last minute, I was asked to actually do the application of the second prop that I did. And while I was on set, I was asked to put the prop on the actor. I said, hey, I, I've got a couple different options. I can do one way over the top or I can do it more pulled back. And I was told, do it over the top. We can always pull it back for the actual shooting of that prop. I did that. I was promptly fired for having it be too over the top. I was told that they would apply the prop with their own makeup department and I wasn't needed. <laughs> kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. <laughs> they took my prop and had somebody else put it on because... Uh, anyway, <laughs> I won't go into too much detail, but I, I loved it. Everybody was great. Everybody from writers and producers and actors it was phenomenal, and I love being on set, and I hope I get another opportunity. Not to be fired, but I hope I get another opportunity. But on today's Try to Finish Something, I have something that I've been working on behind the scenes. It's the wall panel light switch, and I'm trying to get closer and closer to having a kit that I can release that you can make your own. And I, I think I'm there. So I have the kit redesigned, and I'm going to assemble another wall panel switch with a little bit of a different feel. And that's what I'm going to do on today's Try to Finish Something. Hopefully I don't get fired from this. So I am back at refining my light switch wall panel concept to eventually release this as a kit. And I ran out of black acrylic sheets. I have wasted so many of these. I cut this out of clear and it will be painted and in the end, it's not really going to matter. I am looking to add more mechanical connections since this is something that other people will be able to build. So these wire holder tabs are now pieces with holes to thread screws through and they have a, a mate on the bottom side to really keep the wires in place. And I'm attaching everything with Allen screws and making everything so that it's easy and customizable. All right, the three wire keepers have been assembled. Now time to mount the frame over the second layer. And eh, you notice the color scheme? This is way outside of my normal comfort level for colors. The first one I did was a Bounty Hunter ship interior color scheme, and this one I'm going for more of a rebel look. You'll have to let me know what you think. And Allen screws again. Done. Now for the two boxes, the battery and the switch. I made them now puzzle pieces because super gluing them and holding them at the right angle was a little tough, and now you just Snap them together with the flat side down and a bit of super glue on the inside. They snap together very tight and you may have to sand the puzzle pieces if you paint them first like I did and not much is needed. I also made a new greebly for the top of this because I thought there were too many vents on the other version. It has a hard drive motor inspiration to the look. Okay, battery box is done. Another mechanical connection and another Allen screw. Now to put together the peekaboo circuit board part by the light switch that requires you to find any circuit board you can find and cut it into about a one and one eighth or three centimeters square. I am using 10 snips, then 
needle nose pliers to pull off anything that is sticking up too high. The circuit board should be a snug fit into the bottom layer of this piece. it will get locked in with the next layer. Now for the whole grid to add some more dimension. It will have a frame, then the grid. It's gonna get screws, and this is the replacement piece for the phone operator board Greebly that I had on my original. Yep, another mechanical connection. Now, if it's not fitting, you may have to pull off a couple more of the high-rise pieces from the circuit board. There isn't a ton of clearance here. Once done, that all gets screwed to the very first layer. Now the piece for the top lights. I will unmask it and add a bit of liquid latex for the chipping. <sighs> this is the leftover latex from the movie that I was just partially fired from. Sorry, I, I, I had to come back to it. Now, to assemble the switch box using these waterproof switches that I bought from Amazon. Now, this piece still gets the vent greebly just super glued on top of the box. While that dries, I will glue on the other redesigned vent on the right side of the frame. Changed it up just a little bit to add some more variety. Now to take off the latex from my chipping, I, I really love that. Oh yeah, and this vent greebly is the included replacement piece for the Galaxy's Edge droid head piece that I used on my original build. This will also be glued with a frame on top, the vent part, then down to the LED panel, but I will chip and paint this first too. Once the pieces are painted, assembly time. I'm going to assemble this one without square LED light covers, just the exposed LEDs, and I'm gonna try and not wire all of the lights and leave some off on purpose to see how it looks. My OCD might not let that happen. Okay, all glued on and ready to place the LEDs into their designed holes. They are a pretty snug fit, but I am super gluing them in place and then running the wires through the channels of the wall panel and running some extra wires from a Cat5 cable to add some more color and complexity to it. All right, glued the battery and switch box to the front. I don't have a mechanical connection for those.
try it and see how it looks. Now remember, not all of the lights are wired on purpose. I'm just trying to tell myself that over and over and I'm not using the square covers for the LEDs this time just to show some variety and range. And I'm not sure I like it with some of the lights off. Ah, all right, I'm moving forward. Time to screw the layers together with some nice, strong four screw connections and yep, favorite part, weathering. I'm using brown and black water-based oil paints and some silver rub and buff. I really, really love weathering a prop. I love how it sells the realism. And I am finished. The Rebel Base light switch cover using my wall panel light switch kit is finished. I really hope you enjoyed the video and apologies for the lack of one last week. I was, you know, busy getting fired from part of a movie. <sighs> I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't and share it with a friend. And if you didn't, as always, just keep it to yourself and we'll see you next time as we try to finish something.